Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité de Leçon M. And in this lesson, we'll work on vocabulary and then the, the vocabulary connected to uh, la famille. So, so the, the, the family, la famille. And then we'll start with uh, the grandparents. Les grands-parents. Les grands-parents. Remember, you don't pronounce this final S here. Grands-parents, okay. So, le grand-père, grandfather, le grand-père, remember, e accent grave like that, it's uh, this open, uh, pe, pe, le grand-père, le grand-père. And then the feminine form, grandmother, la grand-mère, la grand-mère. Okay, so, les grands-parents, le grand-père, la grand-mère. Okay, so let's see now the parents. Les parents, les parents, le père, the father, le père, la mère, the mother, la mère. Okay, so les parents, the parents, le père, la mère. All right, so till now, I think that it's not really, really difficult to Remember, okay? Let's see now. Les enfants, okay? So first, I don't make the liaison. Les enfants, just for you to see that we've got this en, and then we've got this en as well. Same pronunciation here. Enfant. Don't pronounce the T. Don't, you don't pronounce the S. Enfant, okay? And now we can focus on the liaison here. So you should make the little link. Les enfants. Les enfants. Okay? Enfants, children. Les enfants, the children. So let's see. Uh, it will be the masculine form, so the son, okay? So it's le, and then even if it, you've got this L, well, basically you don't pronounce it, and then strangely you pronounce the final S. Le fils. Le fils. Le fils. Le fils. And then the feminine form, the daughter, la fille. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this L, L here and E will give you the sound Y, la fille, la fille. Okay, so make the difference between the masculine form, le fils, and then the feminine form, la fille. Okay, so les enfants, le fils, la fille. Okay. And then the grandchildren, but then in French we use the petit, petit is like small, okay, so les petits enfants, make this liaison here, petits ans, petits ans, okay, les petits enfants, les petits enfants, so grandson would be in French petit fils, okay, so le petit fils, le petit fils, And then the feminine form, la petite t -t. So, <laughs> I insist because here it's t, t Okay, so really you need to make the difference between the masculine form, petit, and then the feminine form, petite t Okay, so la petite fille. La petite fille. So let's repeat them. Les petits enfants, le petit fils, la petite fille. Okay, and then when you're talking about your uh, in-law uh, family, well, in, in French we use this beau and belle, so uh, it's beautiful, okay? So the beautiful family, you're talking about your in-laws, okay? So la belle famille, la belle famille, remember, I-L-L-E, I, I. La belle famille, okay? So, uh, père, okay, father, so father-in-law, okay, in French it's le beau père, the beautiful father, <laughs> le beau père. So remember this E, A, U combination of vowels only give you the sound O, beau, beau, okay, le beau père. Mother-in-law, la belle-mère, la belle-mère, 
la belle-mère, OK, so let's see them one more time, la belle-famille, le beau-père, la belle-mère, all right? And then brother-in-law, le beau-frère, le beau-frère, le beau-frère, so frère is brother, OK? And then feminine form, here you get sœur, OK? So sister-in-law, la Belle, so we put the belle form here because it's the feminine form. Sœur, la belle sœur, la belle sœur. That's it for the family. It was leçon M, okay? So be careful and then uh, you can uh, find the next lesson uh, there. Hopla, that's the website or that's the, 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 the channel on YouTube where you can find the lessons, okay? And then this is the website where you can find more material. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité de Leçon P. And in this lesson, we'll discover uh, la situation de famille. So if you want to say what is your uh, situation, your personal situation, then that's the correct lesson to watch now. Let's start. Je suis célibataire. So I know that many of you will laugh when they will see this uh, beautiful célibataire word. It doesn't have any uh, other indication but the fact that you are single. Okay, so if you want to say that you are single, whether it's uh, the masculine form or the feminine form, it will be like that. Je suis célibataire. I am single. Okay, second option. J'ai un copain. Okay, boyfriend, boyfriend would be copain, okay, and then it's the feminine form here, girlfriend, copine. J'ai, so j'ai, I have, okay, j'ai un copain. I have a, boyf a boyfriend, j'ai un copain. Féminin, j'ai une copine. I have a girlfriend, j'ai une copine. Okay, so if you're in, in couple, en couple, je suis, I am, je suis en couple. Je suis en couple. So here you want to indicate that you are living with someone, but then you are not married. Okay? Je suis en couple. You can make the liaison here. Je suis en couple. Okay? And then, fiancé, engaged. All right? And then here you get the masculine form. I've been putting here the feminine form. All right, uh, so you will have to add this uh, at the end of fiancé, but then you don't pronounce it phonetically, whether it's masculine or feminine, it will still be fiancé. Okay, so if a man is uh, talking, he, he will say, Je suis fiancé. If a woman is speaking, she will say, Je suis fiancé. Okay, so phonetically, it will sound exactly the same, but if they write that, they will have to write a, only one a here with the accent, okay? And then for the masculine form, sorry, and then for the lady, she will have to put this a uh, at the end, all right? So, marié is uh, married. Je suis marié, okay? So, the same rule as for fiancé. Marié, so just like that, if it's the masculine form, okay, with uh, at the end if it's the feminine form but still it will be pronounced the same way je suis marié divorcé well it looks the same and it's divorced okay je suis divorcé same rule final e uh, if it's feminine but you don't pronounce it je suis divorcé and the last one, widow, so masculine form and feminine form. Je suis veuf, veuf, so remember to pronounce the final F, veuf. And then the feminine form, je suis veuve, veuve, veuve. Okay, so let's repeat them one more time. Je suis célibataire, j'ai un copain, j'ai une copine. Je suis en couple, je suis fiancé, je suis marié, 
je suis divorcé, je suis veuf, je suis veuve. Ok, so now you can present your family situation. Ok, it was leçon P, so you can find the next lesson and the previous lessons at the following address here. And then we've got the website here, imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye.